What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a Hunter's Guide to the Clutch Claw in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. With the introduction of the new expansion, all Hunters have access to a new tool, probably one of the strongest tools in the game. This is the Clutch Claw, a secondary function of the Slinger that every Hunter has access to. This complementary tool allows Hunters to crowd control monsters, gain resources and even enhance some of their moves depending on what weapon you're using. Now at first the Clutch Claw may be a little bit daunting but for optimal performance learning the Clutch Claw is kind of necessary. But anyway, what is the concept behind the Clutch Claw? Well, in all honesty it's a grappling hook. It allows Hunters to grapple onto monsters and perform other tasks. But the Clutch Claw works differently depending on what weapon you are using. Well first of all, how do Hunters use the Clutch Claw? Well the basic use of the Clutch Claw is to aim with your Slinger. So you would aim with your Slinger normally with L2 or LT and then you would press circle or B. This will cause you to fire off the Clutch Claw and if a monster is in range and you're on target, the Clutch Claw will attach itself to that monster, pulling the Hunter forward towards that monster's body part. When a Hunter has attached itself to a monster via the Clutch Claw, a Hunter has four options available to them. First of all, they can change position by moving left and right on the analog stick. This will cause your Hunter to jump from body part to body part, but this does consume stamina. In fact, just staying on a monster via the Clutch Claw will drain your stamina, so that's something to be aware of. Anyway, when you're on the body part you want to damage or manipulate, you can press triangle or Y to perform an attack with your weapon. This has different effects depending on what weapon you are using, but we'll talk about that in a minute. You can press circle or B, so long as you're on a monster's head. And if a monster is not enraged, it will cause the monster to shift position. When I mean shift position, it means it turns them 90 degrees but why would you want to do this? Well, the final move available to the hunters who use the Clutch Claw and attach themselves to a monster is the Slinger Burst. Now pressing R2 or RT, a hunter will unleash all their Slinger ammo at once into a monster's head and so long as they're not enraged, it will send them careening forward and should they hit a wall or other obstacle, it will damage them and even knock them out. And this will leave them open for hunters to perform follow-up attacks and combos. A quick disclaimer here, when I refer to the Slinger Burst in terms of using the Slinger after you've grappled to a monster, in-game it's actually called the Flinch Shot, but I've got so used to calling it the Slinger Burst, I hope you understand what I mean when I say it in the video. Now one thing you should be aware of with the Slinger Burst is, that, like I said, you can only use them on non-enraged monsters, but how can you tell if a monster is enraged or not? Well, certain monsters are easier to tell than others, most of them do have telltale signs, like for example with Raphalos or Raffian, fire will be spouting from their mouths. But for the most part, most monsters will have steam or a visual breath coming from their nostrils. This indicates that they're enraged and the slinger burst as well as the repositioning mechanics won't work on them. So you have to wait till they calm down before you can start using that again. You can still actively attack an enraged monster with your clutch claw, you just can't perform the slinger burst. Also something players should be aware of is flinching monsters. During hunts, when enough damage is done to a monster in a period of time, they will flinch. This will cause them to reel back a little bit while they catch their breath. Now this gives you a golden opportunity to use your clutch claw and perform follow-up moves as the monster will be completely open. However, you should be aware that monsters who flinch can still be enraged, in which case the slinger burst or flinch shot won't actually work on the monster at all. So those are the main functions behind the Clutch Claw that every weapon has access to. But there are a few differences and specializations depending on what weapons you are using. For example, when you perform the triangle attack after performing the Clutch Claw, you will attack a monster's body part. But the effects are different depending on what weapon you are using, like I said. There are really two categories here. First of all, there are the heavy weapons that when performing the triangle move, it will tenderize that monster's body part. This will leave scratch marks on the monster's body and soften that specific body part up, potentially allowing hunters to deal more damage. The heavy weapons include the greatsword, charge blade, heavy bowgun, hammer, lance, hunting horn and switch axe. On the flip side though, there are the light weapons. When performing the attack maneuver with the clutch claw, they will instead cause the monster to drop various slinger ammo, depending on what type of monster it is, also dictates what type of slinger ammo it is. It should also be noted though that the light weapons can also be used to tenderize monster body parts but it takes multiple clutch claws to that specific body part which can be time consuming when compared to the heavier weapons that can just tenderize a monster's body part straight away. Anyway the light weapons include the bow, dual blades, 
sword and shield, insect glaive, light bow gun, long sword, and for some reason the gun lance. It's probably because the gun lance makes use of slinger ammo quite a lot. Now one thing players should be aware of when using their clutch claws is that you can use it whilst your weapon is drawn. But depending on what weapon you're using there are a few control differences. For example, normally when your weapon is drawn you can just simply press L2 or LT to aim your slinger and then press circle to fire off the clutch claw much like you would if your weapon was sheathed. However, there are a few weapons with an exception to this. These are normally the weapons that have a form of aiming naturally built into the weapon. So the bow guns, the bow, sword and shield, insect glaive, and even the lance with its new mechanics, they all require an additional input in order to use the clutch claw whilst your weapon is drawn. To do this whilst you're aiming with whatever weapon you're using, so we'll take the bow for example, if you're aiming with the bow with holding L2, you will then have to press R3 to switch your stance. This will switch you between your normal aim and the aim with your slinger. When you're aiming with your slinger, you can then press circle to fire off the clutch claw as normal. Now before we go though, a few quick tips with the slinger. First of all, the slinger itself does deal a little bit of damage and it can be used to activate certain environmental aspects. For example, it can be used to knock down scatter nuts if you want or pop poison cups. So it basically allows you to interact with the environment without actually having to use slinger ammo or your weapon. Additionally as well, when you perform the slinger burst on the monster, there are certain things you should be aware of. First of all, normally you would send a monster into a wall, which is fine, it knocks them out, it deals damage, it's nice, but you can also send monsters hurtling into one another. Should you do this, then you will actually knock out and damage both monsters. Which is great, because in Icepawn there seems to be an abundance of monsters who like to fight one another. Also, when you perform a slinger burst and send a monster towards an edge, should there be a platform underneath that certain edge, then the monster will simply fall off of it, damaging themselves when they land and also leaving them vulnerable. You can also use the slinger burst or flint shot on flying monsters. This will cause them to crash into the ground, damaging them and forcing them to land. A great way of dealing with monsters such as Raphalos, Azure Raphalos and Kushada de Aura. Additionally as well, pressing the circle or B button while attached to the monster, doing this enough will actually tenderize the monster's body part, but it takes a fair few hits and it's just easier to use your weapon in all honesty. And finally the slinger itself as well as the slinger burst is capable of killing monsters, which is actually quite a hilarious way of finishing a hunt. But anyway, that's about it for the clutch claw. Like I said, it is a great new tool and it helps control fights and debuff monsters. And for most optimal hunts, getting used to how the clutch claw works is kind of mandatory. But what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below and until next time, I've been Dabblade, bringing you a hunter's guide to the clutch claw in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.